Welcome back, Hermit fans, to another episode. Okay. We fixed a few things since episode one. First thing you'll notice is the sound is fixed, or should be much, much better. Um, the first episode I was getting drowned out by the sound of the game and did not realize it until afterwards when I watched the footage. Number two, you can see I can pick things up because I've moved this. Left shift plus F appears now. Um, I did verify the game files. They were all good, but that's okay. They need to be checked because, you know, we found problems with other games in the past. What I did is I came in here and reset to defaults on the controls. So at some point I must have goofed it up. It was a my fault thing. Um, I did make a motorbike so we can shift F, pick it up. I added these little ramps here um, just to kind of help with the ease of getting in. Our large constructor. So the issue was we didn't have enough clearance in here. It wasn't tall enough. So basically I took out some floor blocks, used the drill, drilled out some ground, dropped in floor bo blocks way down there, and then um, dropped this constructor down in there. In my cargo box, I built this tool, this texture tool, which we're going to go out and we're going to show you what it does right now. what this looks like. I don't know if I really like that look there. Um, I don't I don't know what I want. Um, our inside floor is like this one here. Oh maybe not. This will work though. Might not be able to get that. Oh, I did get it. Alright, so. It gives us kind of a nice, clean look. I'd like to have done that, but I don't know where. And I think there's a bug. Because, like, there's all these here. But you, you can't what they are. What did I go with? This one? Yeah. So, it is what it is. So, did I do anything else? I think those are the major things there. I fixed the sound. We moved the constructor. You can see I damaged these blocks in the process. I'm going to just put this back in here because I don't need it out in the wild by any means and if I die it's just one more thing I could lose um, I was out collecting some stuff um, collected some more food because we've kind of been hurting for that um, so what did I want to do there was something I wanted to do oh a fridge. So your food all has perish times. 43 minutes and this is bad. 52 minutes and that's bad. 57 that's bad and so forth. Some of it's got short life. This one's only 14 so um, the problem is yeah it's short-lived but go to our tech tree down here we can research a fridge. Now in here, under devices, we should be able to 
build said fridge. Somewhere, where are you at, fridge? Right there. This is gonna. Does it say what it takes for power? Five kilowatts, which is pretty significant, but uh, I feel as though a fridge is a very worthy item just because it's going to save our food. Already collected that. But really the big thing we're going to be needing is iron. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to expand this base. Yeah, this thing I think is just kind of a anomaly. It's there, but it's never let me get it. Oops, got to turn the jets on. You can see here's our solar panels up here. I assume this must be who made this little blueprint. Oh no, I think it's a neat little starter base. Alright, so let's place our fridge somewhere. Where should we put it? Because I think we'll put our food processor near it. Let's put it there. Okay, so now, if we go here, what this does is it stops the perishing times. So now, while it's in the fridge, the clock will not tick down on that. So we can throw some extra stuff in there. to stop it aging. Well worth it I think. Oh I know the other thing I wanted to check is biofuel is made from plant fibers and I think plant fibers if I can find them are made from wood. So you get 20 plant fibers out of one wood log and we've already got some. So basically one wood log will get us two biofuels. And that's going to char that's going to power our drill. That's what it uses right now. So I think that's a super super worthy deal right there. What do we got for wood? We got 14 logs in there, so we could afford to harvest some logs when we're out and about. Um, not sure if I've showed you this screen at all yet. I think we glanced at it because we looked at the battery. This fuel is fuel that you'd have probably running like a generator. I'm honestly not sure the difference between the power and the battery. Really don't know. Oxygen, not an issue because we're on a planet that has oxygen. Um faction um, because uh, let's this is the one guy that's on here let's create a faction he man woman haters club oh it won't all fit boys. Oh man, I gotta have three. Winter Hermit Boys. Okay, so let's go back. Create Winter 
Hermit. Boys. Winter Hermit Boys. There we go. Set. Boom. I don't know. I've never created one. Whatever. What were we looking at? Get out of here. Boom. Back to here. So you can turn on your power on and off. The lights, even the signals for the doors, the turrets. Um, you can see how much power it's generating, consuming. We're consuming a lot right now because we're running the... Uh, I already forgot the name of it. We're making stuff. Um, you can name your base. Here you can see all the devices. Um, so like the fridge here, you can actually turn the fridge off and on. You can access it from here. Um, <laughs> this goes beyond me. It's how you can manually configure your signals. And this gives you a good overview of your base. Currently we're outputting 46 kilowatts. On average it's 19, so that's an average I think of a 24 hour day, you know, day and night. All the resources that went into this base. And the production time we've spent into it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for now. Um, so are we done making those yet? Yeah, so we made those. Um, I think I'm actually going to stow some of those extra ones in my cargo box. Where's my cargo box? Over here. Maybe I should have put the fridge by the cargo box. Whoops, no. Let's do this. Alright, so it's daytime. I think it's time to try to go exploring and hopefully find something. We want to go where we haven't been. We came, well here's our other portable constructor. So we've kind of explored this. We came up through here. There's a copper deposit. There's also drones that hang out right there. We came up and around Here's the armory that killed us. Um, up here, a lot of drones. Um, so I think we can try to go down and explore this area. We really have not. Hey look, somebody else is online. Oh yeah, I gotta remember the right buttons. We are going to head kind of westward. And eventually southward around this lake. And we're hoping to find an iron deposit. We like desperately need an iron deposit. Course. Definitely stop. Oh, there's nothing there. Got any opportunity for good food sources? Matter of fact. Gotta eat a little bit. Oh, and then I turned right into it. something to run into, I will run into it. Ok, 
again we are always going to stop for spice unless we are like dying let's check our map quick where we at okay so we kind of want to head east from here right now west 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 Oh, copper deposit. That's ultimately not what we want. We want, want more iron. So, I want to keep exploring, see what we can find, and bring you back. All right, so ah, oh, we lost our mini bike. Okay, so I've had some major issues. Luckily, I'm not too far from home. We're gonna have to start heading back that way on foot. So here's what happened. My computer's been overheating terribly, and I'll be sitting here playing, recording, and it just... Oh, it says play your bike. Is it? Is it? Is it? Oh, thank goodness we recovered our bike. Okay, so never mind. We don't have to go back. So my computer is overheating, shutting off. I hopefully have rectified the issue. My case, my, my computer looks pretty ghetto right now. It's opened up. The side panel with the motherboard is flipped open. And it's not my processor, I don't think. Well, I know it's getting too hot. It's my power supply because my processor is pumping heat basically right into my power supply. Like, what is this here? Alien Thorn? Sure, we can use it for something. Basically, I think I could definitely use a different case. It'd be very beneficial to my cause, but not your guys' problem. I gotta get it figured out. Meteorite incoming. Where? I cannot see it. I think that's it right there. Same, same thing we're trying to figure out here is we're looking up trying to find the meteorite. Ooh, vegetables. So now I've got two, so let's go ahead turn that into one of these a little bit longer living bad boys. So we lost a lot of our recording in my debacle. So I'm not 100% sure what you've missed, but you've missed a lot. Oops. Um, I think you missed when we took down the gigantuan rock that hit over 7,000 hit points, got a bunch of rock. 
Um, I think you actually missed us making the mini bike because. Oh, we're a new level. As I did that in the very beginning. So, anyway, we're out here looking for iron at this point. Basically, just. Uh, I'm going to be watching for those now. Vegetables are a good thing to find. Looking for an iron deposit. We found a silicon deposit. We found lots of copper deposits. But we really need an iron. And I have found a couple iron rocks out in this area. Which I'm just tickled pink about because it's something. But ideally, see right here, this one should be an iron. See those blue stripes in it? So we will take every iron rod we can get. Alright, just checking my computer temps. They seem to be doing really well with the way I've got this set up. This may be a secret for now. Might be a good time to mention, uh, if you like our videos, totally new but we're is that oh I thought it was maybe blue stripes and it was a big one we're pretty new to this but we're we're getting there we're building up if you'd like to support what we're doing we do have a whoa don't go in the water don't go in the water we went in the water oh. <laughs> we have a patreon page you can go there, you can pledge to donate so much a month, a dollar, two dollars. Um, and we'll help him out here a little bit. Oops. Um, so yeah, visit our Patreon page. The link will be in the uh, description of this video and all our newer videos. Um, we would absolutely appreciate anything, even if you only commit to a dollar. That helps us a lot. That money is going to go 100% back into our gaming we've got a full-time job so it's not you know it's not supporting us that way it's it's gonna come back to making more videos for you guys whether that's getting new games whether that is updating some hardware for our computer um, which clearly we're we're in a little bit of need of Ah, what direction am I going here? I'm going the wrong direction. I want to go east. So we need to put our bike back down. Get on our bike. And as soon as we can, turn into a rock. Well, that was fun. A little glitch there. Um, you know, and we've got it set up on certain levels. We're going to invite you into our, our Discord channel. We do have a private Discord channel. Um, you know, there's rewards in there that uh, 
we'll add you. You get to be our, our friend on Steam. Um, that way you can see exactly what we're playing. So you're going to know what's going to be coming out in videos because you're going to see what we're already into. Um, and I've got levels set up in there where you hit those levels and you have a chance to win free games. Uh, you get up high enough levels and you're guaranteed a free game depending on the level and the rewards. Um, ooh, there's a couple of those vegetables. Either we get to pick a game for you. You know, I do have some extra Steam keys for games and stuff that I can give away. Um, or you hit the right levels and, you know, basically we're gonna, we're gonna buy you whatever game you want on Steam up to $60. So yeah, check it out. By no means is it required to watch our videos, but we are at the level where we make no money off YouTube. Um, you've got to hit certain criteria. You got to have a lot of subscribers. So you know we appreciate the subscribe as well. Um, you got to have a certain number of minutes viewed per month. And we're just we're not there. We're new. So that's why we've got that Patreon page, just to help out. That way people can donate to our cause, we can help buy new games, help update our PC hardware. Um, let's look at a map here. I almost guarantee that, that is something we don't want to go near, but we're going to go that direction just to figure it out anyway because we're kind of stupid. I almost guarantee it's going to be like an armory or something. Come on, tell me what it is. It's about the time. Civil Hub. It doesn't sound dangerous. That's a trading station. Rock on! I think we've discovered stuff that's not like gonna kill me. Awesome! Okay, let's uh pick up our bike. Let's go check things out. Okay. They're not shooting me. I like that they're not shooting me. Oops, we jumped right up. Access repair station. I don't I don't think I've got anything that needs repairs. What if I put this in here? Huh, okay. So if we had something that was damaged. Ooh, our armor is damaged pretty badly. Oh, I can't take it off here though. We've got to take it off and I was hoping there'd be some freebies in there. Ooh, see there is, there is, there is. So now we gotta check out all of these. Some plastic, oh, we need that multi-charge. We can... Well, that's a drill charge, but I think that's for the bigger drill. Stone dust, not much, but we'll take it. Wood planks, we'll take it. Okay, 
We checked both of those. Ooh, this is well worth our stop. How do we do this? What order do we do it in? There's so many buildings. We're definitely checking everything out now. Cannot use the toilet. It's somebody else's faction. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Somebody left a pizza in the fr Oh, look at that. 226 food. Boom. It's ours. It's uh, 55 minutes. No, oh, we can't use our food processor. Okay, so we're going to just try to go around the, the bend here. It kind of looks like a lounge area. That's just another bathroom. Small table, nothing there. This is pretty awesome. Is this another fridge? Yeah, it is. Oh, nothing in this fridge. Oops. Wrong direction. Okay, so now looks like this one's next on the list. Can't talk to anybody. Here's another fridge. Nothing in that fridge. Can't access this. I'm sure this is just another bathroom. Yep, don't see anything else. So it looks like we're going to the medical bay next. counter. I don't know if this is a sink thing or not. Healed ourselves, didn't need it too bad, but <gasps> covered our stamina. Don't need any oxygen, but it's there if we would need it. Closet, nothing in there. Reduce radiation, whoops. Reduce temperature, increase temperature. <laughs> awesome. Check out this little building back here. No, nothing there. Okay, so this building's next on the list. Excuse me, sirs. I, I want to get in there. Okay, so it's all just all just bells and whistles for show. Closet, nothing in there. Armor locker. Yeah, so here's what we need. Now we need to go back to that repair station. Oh, that was... 
Oh, I don't have my jetpack because I took my armor off. So that's kind of the weird thing about this game. Here's a, a landing pad. Oh, I gotta remember I don't have my jetpack. So I think I wanna, before I do anything else, I don't remember where that repair station was. It's not there. Where are we at? We're all messed up now. Okay. So over here is where we started. So where... This wasn't it. Oh, here's where we started. I don't think it was in either of those. Honestly, was it in the medical bay? Clone chamber. Two station. No. I really should have remembered where that was, huh? Was it this little thing? No. Well, it's got to be back in one of these buildings then. Either that or it was in the main building. Had to been in the first main building. Yeah, there it is. So let's try this. Boom. Repair. Awesome. We just completely repaired our armor. So now we need to go back. Gotta remember these things. Like, where were you? Oh, yeah. No jetpack. So, deco consoles. Yep, this is the one I couldn't get into. So, I'm pretty positive it's not here. Which means I came out. We've already been over there. Yep, it'd have been this one. Right there it is. There we go. Open up our helmet. Yep, we went through here. Lots of cargo boxes. Let's see if we can find drill charge. Something I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but guess what? We're taking it. Cobalt R, wood planks, we're taking it. I'm not stealing anything. A motor, I'm sure that's useful. Optical fiber. Another multi-charge. Oh, this is good stuff, guys. Absolutely great stuff. Nothing in that one. Hardened steel and steel plates. Those will be useful. Nothing in there. 
cobalt ore, some magnesium powder, mechanical components, that's definitely good, electronics capacitors, all good for building stuff. Sir, not stealing anything. Don't mind me. Utility station. Keep hoping to find something cool in one of those armor lockers. Okay. Not really anything in there. Gotta figure out where I am. Came around there. So now we're going in this. Sub to power station. Cool. Our generators. That's power cells. Nice fucking life. Can borrow some of your power. How do I go down? Apparently you can't use that elevator. Okay, I think we've explored everything here. anything we went through all these boxes we raided them hardcore got lots of good stuff out of here all right so now have a good day sir we're gonna go to this trading station over here came across on that bridge and then I jumped down. Just don't want to miss anything. There was so much good stuff there. Ooh, a Promethean deposit. That's well basically that's better than iron. Ideally we're still gonna need iron too, but uh we're definitely gonna spend some time digging there while we're out here. We can't, can't access it. They got their stuff all locked down here. There's their generator, their O2 tanks. So I don't know how these elevators work. Good one, Dino Stew Stew Royale. We're gonna take it. Oh, we'll let us use the food processor. We really don't have anything to process though. Came in there, so let's go up. Here's another armory. Personal cargo box. Says to press F to access it, but it's not letting us.
Whoa, there's a lot of steps in that one. Is that the one we were in? I think that's the one we were in. So we gotta figure out how to use the uh, use the elevator. There's an ATM. Let's talk to the trader. What do we got here? Medium armor? What do we have? I think we've got light armor. Quite pricey though, we're not gonna afford that. Here's another repair station. What's that say? Military equipment, weapons and commodities. Jump, maybe? This appears to solidly be med bay. That will cure you of lots of ailments. Oops, sitting there playing some video games. Teleporter is not active. Okay. All right. the crouch button goes down. Cool beans. Yep, ATM, which we've got like nothing to put in the ATM. Okay, so let's go back to this other building. Now that we know how to use the I have a feeling it might have been a a wasted trip up here, but check it out regardless. Get some screenshots while we're up here, checking it out. Alright, well, I guess that's it. So now we go back down. This um, yeah, just goes out here. Well, I think that's it here. Because it won't let us touch the box. Twenty-eight minutes left on that. Twenty-four on that. So let's just combine those. Ooh, we got some vegetables that we gotta make into something.
these things are good for like a long time so let's hopefully we can get them back back homeward it's so cool we got all kinds of stuff um <laughs> four let's eat some food here now let's get on our motorbike let's head over to that Promethean deposit okay it's clearly down there a ways bonus here is we're going to gain a bunch of crushed stone while doing this. It's kind of the nature of the beast. We're going to have to dig through stone, you know, drill through stone to get there. I always like to just check and make sure I am leaving myself a slope path out. You see those blue glowing circles? That is our Promethean deposits, and that is what we use to make fuel, our multi-charges, as well as Promethean fuel packs, which will power our small vessel and bigger vessels as we get there. What are all these little spiders? Worst case scenario, there was a constructor over there we could use. All we need is some wood and we could manufacture some more. Okay, so we're still doing good as far as that goes. Make this less boring. We'll bring you back when I get somewhere. Okay, so I've got to be super close. You see how big and bright they are? At some point here, we're going to see some blue dust, and that's going to say we got some. There, 19 Promethean. Thirty-seven. So where are we at here? Where's our Promethean ore? 
right there. We got 108 already. The question is, where is out? I think that is, there's 314 total in this mine. We've got 108 of this. So we've got a third of the Promethean ore out here. Plus, like I say, the byproduct. There's another 31. The byproduct is we're getting all this crushed stone. Looks like it might be a ways away. Alright, I'm going to finish mining here. Alright, we made out with 242 Promethean ore. There's 22% left. So there's not much left. But I didn't really want to push my luck and run out of a drill and be buried down there. So, out we go. I think it might be time to make a run on oh, got more vegetables let's make another one of those a five eighty nine ninety five oh it's not really what I want to do but okay only twenty one minutes on that so let's kind of replenish our food stock a little bit so I don't even know if I have any more spice. I think that was it. Okay, so let's figure out where we are and what we got to do to get home. Looks like we can basically head northeast up around and go that way. So let's pause the recording and get it done. Well, there you have it. We're home sweet home at Hermit Manor. We got lots of goodies. That was that was a great run. We found a Promethean mine. We got some great food, which we're gonna get in the fridge right now. We made several of the energy bars while we were out. We're just gonna go ahead and stick all our food in the fridge for now. Oh, what else do we have for food? Do we have more? Look at those. Um, I think that might be it for food. Combine that down there. Yeah, so... Awesome sauce. We got some things we don't know what to do with. These multi charges are going to come in very handy. 
matter of fact, we're going to go over here. We're going to drop our multi-charge and our drill charge in there. We've got these Promet two Promethean pellets really ain't going to mean anything now that we got this. But, let's watch this. We drop this in here. One ore makes 10 Promethean pellets. And these fuel pack take one, 10 of those. So, you know, essentially one ore makes one fuel pack. Um, what about... These are multi-charges and stuff. Weapons and items. Multi-charge. Steel plate plus that. I bet you we can start looking at putting in a turret. Biggest thing's going to be manufacturing the ammunition. Let's go ahead and put all our stuff in there. We got magnesium power, those those promethean pellets. Not sure what we do with that yet. Got that ore, more wood planks, some stone dust, some motors, optical fibers, hardened steel plates, capacitors, electronics, mechanical components, steel plates, cobalt ore. Whatever that is, more copper, more silicone, there's some iron, a bunch of stone. Um, what do we do with our spoiled food? I think we have that somewhere, probably just in the storage crate. So yeah, awesome. There you have it. Let's call that an episode and then... uh. Next time we are going to be, yeah, there's my spoiled food. Next time we're going to be deciding what can we make with all the good stuff we just found. Like I say, I'm going to guess we might be looking at putting a turret on our base to defend against any drones that happen by. So, uh, yeah, again, check out that Patreon page. Donate if you like, don't if you like, like the videos if you like, um, keep on watching, Winter Hermit signing off, we'll see you next time.